Hey friends, my name's Sophie and welcome to your workout. Today we're doing a 45 minute dumbbell strength and cardio interval workout. So it's gonna be challenging and sweaty and super fun because it's no repeats, which I know you guys love. Um, for dumbbells, I have 10 pounds and I have eight pounds two of each and you can use whatever you have whatever you want that's just for reference so that you know but if you want to use more dumbbells if you only have one set that's fine you can always set them down if it's too much um, and modify as needed so we're going to get started right into our workout and the first few exercises are more warm-up they're kind of warm-up oriented so don't feel like oh this is too easy of a workout it's just we're warming up for the first few ones and then trust me it's going to get really challenging so I'm gonna start my timer here. Um, our first exercise is, dumbbell, is down dog to lizard steps. So you're going into a down dog. You're stepping your right foot outside of your right hand. You're reaching your right arm up and then you come back down and you're doing the other side from down dog, okay? So we start in three seconds. Ready, go. So start with the right leg, twist it open, bring it down, step to down dog, and then left leg. Keep that going. All right, next up, we're staying down on the ground. We're doing down dog to plank and then a push up. So you know you're down dog now. You come to a plank, push up, right back up, and down dog. Ready? Let's go. All right, we're gonna come back up. Now keep in mind, you can take this at whatever pace feels good for you. You don't have to go as fast as possible. It's not necessarily hit, but you can make it more hit oriented. So we're doing side lunges next. I'm sorry, squats next. Ready, squat. So if you wanna target strength more, maybe you go down, you take your time as you squeeze back up. I'll try to find a good middle ground. So I'm not going too fast, but not too slow either. And you can just follow my pace. All right. So we have 15 seconds rest. We're going to our side lunges next. Try to keep it moving a little bit between each exercise if you can. For side lunges, we're just taking the legs wide. We're gonna go side to side. Ready? Let's go. Keep your breathing steady. If you can, in through the nose out of the mouth. When you're going into your side lunge, sit back into your hips. Weight in the heels. All right, and then we'll rest. We're going into our lunges next. So we're gonna start with the right leg back. And we're just gonna be going up and down in a static lunge. Don't worry, this is a progressive workout. Ready, let's go. So we're going to be adding on as we move through, doing similar exercises, but adding on weights, adding on the complexity of the movements. 
So in a way, we're still kind of warming up. Try to get your knee as close to the ground as you can. Core is engaged, shoulders are back. All right, shake it out, move it around. Let's take that left leg back. Ready? And go. And rest. All right, butt kickers are next. So, by the way, we have 10 exercises in each section and every seventh exercise is more cardio based. So we can get that heart rate up. Ready? And go, butt kickers. Keep the hands relaxed and loose, shoulders relaxed. You want to up the intensity, go as fast as you can. And rest. All right. Grab your dumbbells. Maybe go for heavier. We're going to do military press. All right. Bring the weights to your shoulders and go. Also called push press. I guess some people call it chest press as well. So if it feels too easy, go a little faster. If it feels nice and challenging, keep a nice pace. Kind of a wider stance with the legs. Okay, we're gonna rest. Next up, we're doing rows. So we're going to take our weights, bend over, stick your butt back so that you have a nice flat back. And you're gonna be pulling with your rows. Ready? Let's go. So you can kind of make this workout um, work for whatever you need. If you wanna go a lot heavier with the weights, you have more of a strength training workout. Keeping the weights nice medium or light, you can just pick up the pace. It's more cardio based. Either way, it's strength based. Eight more seconds. Next up, we're going to be doing alternating bicep curls. So your insides of your arms are facing forward and you're going one at a time. Go. Try not to use momentum to swing it back. You're upright, you're strong, and you're using the strength of your arms and your biceps, forearms as well. All 
Okay, we have a 30 second rest now. So set those weights down. Quick 30 second rest, grab a drink of water if you need it. It's gonna go by fast, so be ready. We're doing down dog, knee to elbows next, or knee to armpits, really. So we're starting in 10 seconds. You might come down to the ground and get set up. So you're gonna lift your hips up. We're starting in three seconds. And you're gonna bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Do it with me. Go back to down dog. Left knee to left upper arm. Down dog, keep, keep going there. When you shift forward, make your body in a plank position. Get that knee as high up as you can. Don't stop moving. And we rest. Next up, down dog to plank with two push-ups. So we did it before the earlier uh, section. Now we're adding on two push-ups instead of doing one push-up. Ready? Down dog, plank, one, two. As fast as you can with those push-ups. Really pushing away from the earth. Grab your dumbbells. We're going into squats with the dumbbells, with your weights. We're gonna bring them up to the shoulders. And let's go. Find a pace that works for you. Go deep into your squat. And rest. Ooh. We're gonna use those dumbbells next. I'm just setting them down for a break on those arms. So we have alternating side lunges next with our dumbbells. Bring them to your chest together and go. Weight in the heels. Push yourself back, chest up. Woo, it's getting hard, all right. We're doing our lunges next with the dumbbells. So start with right leg back. You can just have the weights down by your sides. And go. If at any point it's too much, you wanna drop your weights, feel free. Right, left leg back, but in five seconds. 
Hänga. Rest. All right, a little cardio action next, jumping jacks. Hopefully you know what those are. If you don't, you'll follow right along with me. Let's go. Next up, we're going to turn into our Arnold press. You need your weights. It's a military press. And then you're adding on by going forward. Ready, go. You got this. Push through. And rest. Next up, we're doing a row and then a tricep kickback. And then you can row again, all right? Triceps are smaller muscles, so if you need to lower the weight, feel free. Ready, and go. So you're kind of knees, your, your knees are bent, and you're leaned forward. Back is flat, chest is broad. Keep your elbows in tight by your body. And rest. Woo, we got bicep curls next. Sorry, I keep saying woo, but I'm, this is a lot. <laughs> and I love it. And I hope you do too. All right, grab those weights. Both arms. So before we did alternating. Now, if you need to drop, if you need to do alternating instead, you're more than welcome to. All right, last 30 seconds, I'll let you listen to the music. And rest. 30 second rest, my friends. That's a quick rest, so don't go too far. If you need a longer rest, hit pause. All right, I'll let you know what we're doing next. Down dog, knee to armpit, and then elevator looks like this. Sorry, down dog, knee to armpit, down to wrist, armpit, and then we do the other side, ready? Right leg, knee to armpit, bring it down to the wrist, bring it back up to the armpit, down dog, left leg. 
I really want you to drive the knee down and up. Use your power, use your strength. Don't get lazy. And rest. Okay, we're doing whew, two plank jacks and two push ups next. So, plank jacks, your feet go out, out, and then you do two push ups and repeat. Ready? Let's go. I'm sorry, do one push up. I got ahead of myself. Just do one push up. Two plank jacks. One push up. Now you know what's coming next time. And rest. Make sure you're going all the way to the end of our timer. Don't stop early, okay? All right, squat double bounce with the weights. So you're going down, down, and up. Next up, with the dumbbells, we do our side lunge two times. A little double, double bounce when you're there. Just like the squat. Ready? And go. And rest. Next up, you're doing a lunge. You come up, you take your weights up, push press. And again, and push. Ready, go. So at the top, you push. This is full body strength right here. Total body strength. Using all the muscles together. A lot of power. And rest. We got the other side, obviously. My nose is a little, is a little runny. That happens sometimes when you work out. Left leg back. And go. Come on guys, move like you mean it. Let's go.
Oof. Okay, we're going to squat jacks next. So, um, it's like a jumping jack, but you're squatting. Okay. Grab your weights again. Arnold press with two military presses. Okay, rows plus a lateral raise. I'm going lighter on weights for this one. You're going to row, and then you're gonna stand up, take your arms wide, okay? Row, stand, arms wide, and down. Row, stand, arms wide, and down. Try not to use momentum on the lateral raise. I know that's hard. We're almost there. 10 more seconds. Next up. And we get a break after this one, a short break. You uh, are gonna do bicep curls. This time we're gonna externally rotate a little bit. And go. So your arms are just turned out a little bit more. Remember, you're not swinging, you're using strength, you're breathing. Okay, 30 second rest here. Pause if you need a longer rest. All right, 10 seconds, mountain climbers. So you're gonna put your hands down and you're gonna, like you're running, like you're running on the ground, okay? Let's go. Like you're climbing a mountain. Rest on the ground, rest with your knees down. We're doing two plank jacks and two push-ups. Ready? 
We can do it. Yes, we can. Use your knees if you need to, guys. Are we alive? Grab you your dumbbells. I'm going lower, guys. It's getting hard. Three times squat. Triple bounce squat. Okay, side lunges, same thing, but three times. So a triple bounce on each side. Next up, alternating lunges with or without your dumbbells. I'm going a little heavier again, just to test myself. So stand at the front, lunge, stand. Opposite leg, lunge, stand. Next up, we're doing our squat to lunge. So we're gonna put the dumbbells to our shoulders, squat, lunge with the right leg, come back to squat, lunge with the left leg. Ready? You're staying low pretty much the whole time. Drop your weights. We're doing four buck kickers, four jumping jacks. Let's start with our butt kickers.
All right, uh, Arnold press and then a hammer curl. So you're gonna go up and then forward, down and up. Let's start with the hammer curl, okay? Weights here, down, up, turn out, press. So it's actually a military press plus a hammer curl, not Arnold press. Keep everything steady, elbows in. No rush. And rest. Okay, plank rows are next. So you're gonna plank with your hands on your weights, or if you need to like get rid of the weights, that's fine. And you're gonna be pulling your arms. So they're actually called renegade rows. Ready? I want you to focus on being steady with your body here. You're not swinging around too much. Your legs are really anchoring you. Try to keep your hips from moving side to side and really pull, row with the weight. Last one before we move on to our core burnout. So I want you to grab your, um, I'm gonna do, do two eight pounds. We're gonna do tricep extensions. So you can do one or two weights. Take the arms up and go down and up. Really bend at the elbows, elbows facing forward, core is tight. So make sure that your belly doesn't dip forward. Bring everything strong. Almost there. <sighs> Amazing job. Okay, you're getting a one minute break here. Hit pause if you need longer. Stay with me if you can. We're doing five minutes of core and then we're done, all right? So I'll see you in a minute. All right, we're starting in 20 seconds. No weights for this one. Come on down to your back. We're doing alternating leg lifts. Each exercise is 30 seconds with no breaks between. So try to switch quickly with me. You can put your hands underneath your sacrum or you can put them behind your head. Behind the head's harder. You're gonna take your legs up. All right, straight up. Take one leg down and then up. Other leg down and up, keep going. and trying to press your low back into the earth. Keep going. In three seconds, we're gonna do both legs. Ready? Both legs down and up.
If you want more of a challenge, you can always lift your head a little bit, head and chest. All right, in five seconds, we're doing tuck-ins. You're gonna keep your upper body on the ground and bend your knees, extend them straight, and then bring them back in. If at any point you need to put your hands by your sides or underneath of you for more support, feel free. Remember to press low back into the ground. That's gonna engage your abdominal muscles. Okay, now put your feet down on the ground. Penguins, take your feet a little wider than your hips, lift your chest, and you're going side to side. In five seconds, we're going to sit-ups. You're gonna keep your feet flat on the ground, knees bent. Ready? And then you're gonna take your hands behind you, lift yourself up. Going all the way up. All right, in five seconds, we're doing bicycles slowly, okay? Ready, come on down, hands behind your head, legs up, knee to elbow, and then switch. Slow. Extending that opposite leg all the way. All right, now you're gonna put your feet down on the ground and then take your legs up. Then we're gonna do crunches here, behind the hands behind the head. Lift, lift. So your knees are at 90 degrees. Try to lift with your core and not your neck, okay? 10 more seconds. In three, two, one, lift your legs straight up, take your hands up, and then again, crunch. You're trying to touch your toes. I'm not actually touching my toes, but that's the direction you're going. Lifting. It's almost over, so really give it all you got. Three seconds. We're gonna come into a plank. Ready, flip over. Come onto your hands, uh, forearms. Forearm plank, right into it. 30 seconds. We have one more after this. In 10 seconds, you're gonna go right into a high plank. You're gonna keep your hips low, but not too low. Engage your thighs. Open through the chest, shift your weight a little forward, and come up onto your hands. Again, shift your weight forward. So you're just on your tippy toes. That's gonna make it harder. Yes, that's the point. Breathe. Can you engage your whole body? 15 more seconds, and then we're done for the day. And rest. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I hope you loved it. I definitely feel really strong now and I feel good to go for the day. So no matter whatever time it is of the day, I hope you have a great rest of it or hope you have a great night. Um, if you enjoyed this, please comment, like, subscribe, do all the things and uh, go check out the rest of my videos if you are not familiar with my channel because I have a range of movement classes. Um, I really do specialize in vinyasa yoga. So if you're into that, into some creative sequencing, then please check that out as well. Otherwise, I'll see you for your next movement session. Bye.